So hey everybody, we're taking a little bit different uh, training tip Tuesday. This is about packing your trailer. So we're headed home and we're lucky to have two rigs. And what we end up doing is we end up breaking out saddle pads to both trailers, girths to both trailers, um, washing equipment to both trailers, some um, pads and wraps. So you can see it's a bit of a mess right now but it's always important to be real organized. We run a lot of horses, and so I try to get the girls um, to stay as organized as possible. So we have a box of show jumping boots there. We have another box up here that's cross country boots. We have a box of saddle pads that we use. And so we just try to keep everything uh, together. Success is one of our sponsors, as is Purina, ta-da. Um, and then we also have medication um, boxes for each rig, which have a listing of everything you might need. Um, electrolyte paste, some sedation, some eye ointment, um, a bandage, sterile four by fours, a halter and lead rope, um, some Epsom salts, things that you might need on the road. So we have a list of those. I'm happy to share that list with anybody who might want that. Um, but this is the start of packing. So we'll show you a little bit later on how it's going. Hey guys, so we're back again, and as you can see, now the truck is full of shit. Um, so luckily we're making a couple trips, so we don't have to deal with that. So when we tra travel up and down the East Coast, we like to take the six horse. This time we're gonna have six horses in here, and you can see um, our six horse is extra wide and extra tall. We've got hay nets. Um, once the horses are loaded, we'll put in the water jug. We always try to travel with water that they're used to drinking. And then um, we'll have a couple of hay bales. And then you can see we've done a lot of reorganizing back here. Um, show trunks, we've got some jumps. We have some jumps up in the gooseneck of the six horse as well. Um, sort of everybody, you know, when you get to the end, they have some loose stuff. So there's some loose stuff. Um, this is how we store our girths that are used for shows and then those are our everyday girths. So this will all get locked up and uh, we're going to try to leave first thing in the morning um, between 4 and 4.30. It's a 12 hour drive and as you can see it's really hot and humid down here and um, so it's horrible for the horses to travel in the heat and so we're going to try to leave early um, so we can get through the majority of the day without it being hot and humid. So. We'll have more news tomorrow, and if you have any questions, let us know. And there she is, the official mascot of the Sea Square Farm. Lucky, the unicorn, the magical unicorn that everybody wants to buy. She'll pass a vetting because she has no body, so she has no legs to flex. So just think about Lucky if you ever get sad. Okay, 4 a.m., let's go. Good morning, everybody. Here's Ashley, and she's getting ready to feed her horse. Now, the one thing we do a little bit differently is we'll feed half grains on days that we're traveling more than eight hours, and then we'll put water in it and uh, so that the horses are a little bit more hydrated before they leave. So that's another thing we do a little bit differently. So we're loading horses. Unfortunately, the lights inside the trailer don't work this morning. Again, one of those things that you get uh, when you haul horses or do anything is surprises um, some people call them opportunities so um, you can see what we did was we just flipped a light on on a phone and shot it to the ceiling so we got the most light possible sometimes you just have to be a little in there. Hi here we are again with the champion time to shine um, who's looking at his nice fuzzy halter and he's thinking do I have to wear that now anyway um, it is extremely warm down here and very, very humid, and they all have fuzzy shipping halters, um, but they're not going to wear them because it would just make the horse's head sweaty and hot. And so, you know, it's to protect them, but at the same time, it's also to keep them from rubbing. And I think if they were hot and sweaty and had sheepskin on them, they'd probably rub more. So for this trip home, they won't wear their fancy halters. And then here's beautiful hunting stars ready to go home. She thinks it's way too hot here as well. Um, you'll notice we've put duct tape on the shipping boots. We don't do this normally when we travel, 
But again, since we're we'll traveling uh, 12 hours, if we're lucky, um, we do it because some of the horses paw. I know some people who know my horses well might find that hard to believe because, well, who's a star is the world's most ridiculous paw. But uh, anyway, they do paw, so we try to just help them keep their shipping boots on. So off she goes to the trail. Okay, so we're all loaded. You can't really tell that we're loaded because we have a lot of dark horses. There's David. There's, who's that, Griffin? He's not turning his head. And then we have River and Joy and Player. So the last thing is when loading your trailer and packing your trailer, remember you're going to be coming through that door to hay and water. So you don't want to put everything against that door. You want to put it against your ramp so that you can get to things. So we have five jugs of water. There are two more over there. And then some hay. So we're ready to go. We're also going to be taking some table salt and a syringe and something to mix up an electrolyte solution in if the horses don't drink. Like I said, it's quite warm. It's 71 or 72 degrees, which is about 22 Celsius for my European friends, and it's 95% humidity. So it sort of feels like you're in a tropical rainforest. Anyway, we're on the road, 5.30. Let's see if we can get home by 5.30. Some people ask if I've got another driver. Nope, but the best dog in the world. She's ready to and go. And then sometimes things like this happen. So Ashley never driven with her trailer with the doors open, but since it's gonna be so hot and humid, we don't want cooked horses. So luckily, Jimmy Martinez at Love's, just south of Camden or west of Camden, is taking care of us and is gonna put ratchet straps on as the doors keep flying open. So at this point, they're still all pretty happy. This won't be the same look you get in a few hours. So that's the thing of beauty, and it's all thanks to this man and his lovely truck stop. So there you go. Thanks, Jimmy. So here we are at a truck stop in Kenley, North Carolina. We're about halfway through our trip, and Griffin is having a little bit of a pee, which is great. Um, you'll notice I don't do a lot of bedding on the floors. And the reason being is they did a study when the Olympics were in Tokyo, I believe, about shipping. And what they found was that if you had a lot of shavings on the floor, the horses actually um, got particulate in their lungs and sometimes would get um, respiratory problems. And so I basically let the hay that falls out of the hay nets um, act as their bedding and then that way they don't have the shavings particulate. All the horses have had something to drink, which is great. Some of them can, you can see are more perky than others. It appears that David and then over on this side, Joy have had sort of enough of the traveling, um, but player is bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, we will give them electrolytes if they don't get brighter um, in, the next, in the next stop. Um, but for now, everybody looks okay and seems healthy. We're gonna get something to drink, fuel up, and then hit the road again. It's still pretty humid. It's not as hot as it is in Aiken, so that's a blessing. And we're about halfway home. So we'd like to say, um, I know this is kind of a different training tip Tuesday. We hope you got something out of it. If you have questions, please put them in the comments section. We'd love to answer them um, and be of whatever help we can be. And we love the support you guys are giving us. And we hope you've enjoyed this trip with us. See you later. Stay safe and healthy. See you next week for Training Tip Tuesday. Hey, everybody. So Griffin and I are here with some followers. And we just wanted to um, answer a couple questions that a couple people had sent in um, who knew we were doing this. Um, one was the question of what electrolyte balance do we use? I basically use like a tablespoon and four ounces of water um, and then dose them with that. And then the other question was um, how, if I'm jumping, doing a bumper pull or a gooseneck with open back doors, because when the weather's hot and humid like this, you really need to travel with the doors open so that the horses um, get the ventilation. But the question is, what happens if it starts to storm or you see a big storm coming in? Well, the fast and dirty answer is your horse is going to get wet. Um, but if you have a chance to pull over and shut the door so the horse doesn't get wet, that's great. Um, but if you don't, then um, unfortunately they do get wet. 
when we drive the six horse and we get into rain, um, we just leave the doors wide open. So let me know if there are any other questions. And again, stay safe. And Griffin says, keep eating that hay, guys. Keep eating that hay. See you later.